my original churches didn't believe in baptism in water you know they believed in christening um but the um brethren church didn't actually believe in christening and but didn't believe in adult baptism either so i don't know where they were stood on it eventually you know i did get baptized in water because i saw it in the bible but actually today i think baptisms water washings are part of the foundations of the old covenant which we don't need to lay in the new we have been baptized into christ's death because we died with him as a spiritual baptism not necessarily a physical baptism now i'm not saying people can't be baptized is a public way of demonstrating their you know spiritual uh, being born from above you know recognizing that coming into an understanding of what god has done for them it might be something that people might value um personally i wouldn't teach it anymore because i feel it's part of an old covenant and like laying on our hands and all of that stuff you know hebrew 6 says do not lay again this foundation of repentance and dead works faith in god you know baptisms or washings you know laying on our hands resurrection of the dead eternal judgment all of those things old covenant when you have the spirit in you which everyone does when the realization of that happens and you fully begin to realize the nature of our relationship the father son and spirit dwell within us and we are included within them in the new covenant that is what the relationship develops out of rather than well i need to get baptized in water and then it's some sort of progression then i can get baptized in the spirit when i'm good enough and then maybe i can enter into leadership when i'm good enough and all of that is all part of the hierarchy of the church system i think rather than simply just encourage everyone to enter into an intimacy with the father through jesus the son in the spirit and enjoy relationship and grow and mature in sonship out of what develops out of that relationship rather than any sort of hierarchical process or climbing a ladder of becoming mature maturity can be very quick when it comes to things in the spirit and paul was functioning you know in maturity in a few years um i don't think it requires you know what we have been told in terms of knowledge or intellectual knowledge and understanding to become mature in the spirit it's much more about knowing the heart of god relating to the heart of god and then operating from the heart of god than it is um in that way now i know jesus had the spirit upon him um but he was operating under the old covenant where he was demonstrating to them that the spirit wasn't yet in them um, but they could have a relationship with the spirit at that time until the spirit was in them which couldn't happen according to jesus until he was glorified um, and so until he went into heaven after the resurrection came back on resurrection day breathed into his disciples and said receive the spirit then that was a totally different dynamic that then they represented the whole of the human race as adam represented the whole of the human race when god breathed into him and he became a living soul or being he led the whole human race into death jesus comes brings us back leading us back into life we're all made alive in christ because everyone is now resurrected and the spirit everyone is born from above they don't know it yet we need to help people come into a realization of what's already happened rather than what will happen as a result of various things that we do or don't do in our lives you know realization of the amazing things that have already accomplished for us in the reconciliation and relationship and redemption that it was accomplished by jesus on the cross that will free us from all the works of religion to enter into the relationship free from all of the need to perform uh, and earn it in any way if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much